Hello from the Windy City. Shy town Chicago. <laughs> I'm Dr. Jess. And I'm Dr. Jen. And this is Catching Up with Vet Candy. Let's catch up with the latest veterinary news. When you talk to clients about parasites, recommend this parasiticide from Burringer Ingelheim Animal Health. NextGuard Plus is the one you want for one and done monthly protection. It prevents heartworm disease, kills fleas and ticks, and treats and controls roundworms and hookworms. Plus, the delicious beef flavored soft chew is safe for puppies. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Give your clients one and done monthly protection with NextGuard Plus. Understanding how active, healthy aging can be achieved is one of the most relevant problems today. Dogs can be used as model animals for studying aging, but their welfare is also a public concern. Now, researchers have found a simple way to test age-related memory performance and the fear of new objects in dogs. The lifespan of a pet or companion dogs has been increasing over the past decades. Consequently, behavioral and physical deficits in old age have become more prevalent. To better understand age-related declines, researchers have developed various behavioral tests. However, these tests have some shortcomings. They may require lengthy training and therefore cannot be repeated over a short period, which makes it impossible to use them to monitor age-related behavior changes over time. Others rely on social interaction, which different dogs may perceive differently depending on the partner. In addition, cognitive tests designed to measure positive affective states are difficult to replicate and may not be reliable in aging dogs due to the extensive learning required. Therefore, Clinicians still need standardized testing for positive emotions in senior animals. Researchers of the Senior Family Dog Project aim to investigate the reliability and validity of simple tests developed for the rapid assessment of age-related behavioral differences in family dogs. What did they do? Well, they designed a memory test to track the first signs of mental decline. In the test, researchers place a set of containers on the floor. After the dogs see that the experiment puts a food reward into one container, they are walked out of the room and distracted for a few seconds before returning to the containers and being allowed to go get the food. They found that older dogs make more mistakes before getting to the correct container, suggesting that they have a harder time remembering where the food is. When the researchers repeated the test after two weeks with a different experimenter, the results were the same, suggesting good test-retest reliability. Another important aspect often overlooked in aging dogs is anxiety, although it might indicate pain and increased stress. To investigate this phenomenon, the researchers showed the dogs a mechanical moving and noisy plush toy and then let them decide how to interact with it. They found that while the tendency to move towards the toy was not significantly affected by age, the tendency to avoid it and move away from it reliably increased with age. Avoiding the object is consistent with an increase in anxiety frequently observed as a part of aging. Sometimes it is difficult to clinically separate medical and behavioral conditions in senior dogs. The presence of pathologies such as cognitive impairment is usually related to disorientation, altered interactions, and anxiety, among other things. Moreover, breed and individual differences may further confound the correlation between behavioral modifications and specific clinical conditions. For these reasons, standardized behavioral tests are particularly beneficial as they may aid the diagnosis and monitoring of age-related changes in dogs. 
allowing us to make more an apparent distinction between healthy and pathological aging processes. The memory and the novel objects tests are consistent over time. Therefore, they can be used for monitoring age-related changes in dogs in longitudinal research and the relationship of the performance with medical conditions, including canine cognitive dysfunction. And that's it for the show. Thank you for watching Catching Up with Vet Candy. If you want to stay up to date with everything vet med, then follow us at My Vet Candy.